I'd always wanted to write a play about the Cambodian women in my life. My Matt, my, my Mings, my Oms, my Mongs. And uh, I've always been in awe of you know, their complexity, how much they've been through, um, war, genocide, a tremendous loss of life, um, and how they still have their feet under them, how they laugh, how they outrageously laugh. Um, these people who had that sense of humor to sort of um, get through life, to cope, to, to move forward. I think the play is about a matriarch who has passed and her two adult daughters, sisters, have to figure out what to do. The elder is a Southern Baptist uh, Christian who would like to bury her mother and the younger sister is a Theravada Buddhist um, who would like to cremate her mother. Obviously, it's about their good intentions, how they desire to honor their mother. And, you know, I think that each of us as human beings, we, we develop a, a system of beliefs that we hold in our hearts, our brains, our bodies. And when they come into direct contact with people, and in this case, people that we know so intimately that we share history with, I think we can sense danger and we can retreat or we can lean in and go fully in. And so um, this play is about that and how we can ultimately honor um, this one person who has meant so much to these two sisters. It's a dream to be in rehearsals. That is the end game in many ways, for me at least. The opportunity to be in a space with collaborators with people who get to dream on your story with you I mean that's a fucking dream these collaborators these actors they get it they just get it you know they they understand the sense of humor um, the sort of drama on comedy on drama on comedy and they're funny like they are funny which is, you know, a dream to just get to laugh in rehearsal all day long. So when I think about an audience sitting in that house and, and sort of stirring in their seats and something really intense is set on stage and they're like, oh, should I laugh? Should I cry? Should I heap over? Like, all the things. I embrace, you know, an audience member to do all those things um, because uh, that is actually what it is to be a human being and to witness this Cambodian family just make fools of each other. <laughs> you know, like that's that's amazing to me. That's the dream. So